Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Shreen Pirwa, and you gotta love my new mic, teeny weeny mic that I got here um, as a gift for my videos and podcasts. So I'm gonna now use my featured professional mic here to give you updates on the real estate market. And this is a Christmas special I'm doing here to say what's gonna happen in 2023, what are we expecting, and what's currently going on. So for those of you out there, I just wanted to give a big, big, big thank you. This month was record breaking, believe it or not. Um, you know, I don't know what's going on anymore in the market. Um, but I do know one thing, and this is something that I've been preaching prior to the, even the news making it a big deal. I mean, you know, we did, I studied economics. I did a master's in economics and it, and I know I keep saying this, it's not to brag, it's just to bring back home the point that I've studied this. When you print and you, and I may sound like a broken record, when you print that much money into an economy, you can't can't take it away with little interest rate hikes. You can't take it away with, um, you know, taxes and, you know, um, and this and that. This money is in the trillions and billions, you know, in circulation throughout the global economy. And that's why you're seeing every central bank trying to cut money supply out of circulation so i want to keep talking to you that inflation is still going to stick around and what does that mean when they say inflation is going to stick around it means that the cost of building a new house is going to cost you a lot more than what a house from three four years ago would have cost you so any new construction to be honest with you is going to be priced higher so the comparables to the existing construction is so much higher that they, it, it holds up the value of existing properties and doesn't allow it to drop. Are we going to see mass exodus of people walking away from their mortgages because they can't afford it? If that happens, regardless of inflation, regardless of what's going on in the economy, trust me when I say that the central bank will get involved to make interest rates because they, they can't afford the economy to collapse. They can't. It's all economics, real estate, central banks is all about keeping money in circulation. They don't want money to cut too much out of circulation because that can also backfire. So <laughs> it's a bit of a game happening here, but I want to give you some updates of what's going on around the world. So I... I just read here an article here and I want to share it with you. Inflation at seven. So I want to teach you guys more about inflation and, and what this all means. Inflation at 7% or 8% is cumulative. So you know when there's a 7% in, in, um, uh, inflation increase in 20, 2020, 2021, 2022, it's cumulative. So what that means, it means since 2022 till now, Prices have gone up 21% more, okay? Let me ask you something. Has your salary gone up in the last three years 21% more? That's how you have to think. Your money is losing value. You printed more money, and so now the cost of that, those goods have gone up because you need more money to pay for it because the money's lost value. Where it's scary is they're not making up for that in people's salaries to keep up with that increase in devaluation, okay? So nothing is up only 7% from three years ago. So even if inflation stays at 5% for the next five years, that means prices are going up another 25%. <laughs> so when they're saying we want to control prices at 3 to 5%, look at it as cumulative. 3% one year, 3% the next year, 3 You know what I mean? So you're looking at essentially the prices of things are still going up. So what we need to consider is fixing our prices on a hard asset. Okay, and that's something that I really want to explain and bring home for all of you listeners out there. So hopefully this video was helpful and I explained interest rates and inflate. Um, well, I didn't explain much interest rates. Sorry, I explained inflation 
to all of you so you understand how that works in our economy here in Canada. The next topic I'm going to talk about is recession, and that's going to be my next part of this Christmas special for all you sweet people. Um, take care, be safe, and I'll be in touch shortly. Cheers.